Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing another review video and it is going to be on this pencil here. You might have seen me use this in my bell drawing video and a lot of people were asking me about it and uh, I will explain about it now. So I actually got this at Jet Pens. I know everyone's going to ask. I got it at Jet Pens. I'll leave a link in the video description to where you can get it. So this pencil is called the Rotring 600 and it is a mechanical drafting pencil. Now, if there are any engineers or anyone watching this, I am not an engineer or anything like that. I just like to draw in my spare time and I don't do many technical drawings. I mostly like to draw characters and stuff. And so drafting pencils are really popular among people who do more technical drawings like engineers. And uh, I wanted to do this review from the point of view of someone like me who likes to draw just casually and do more organic type drawings. And so that's kind of my perspective. I don't know anything about engineering, so don't be mad at me if I don't say a bunch of technical terms about this pencil. <laughs> so like I said, I got this pencil at jetpens.com. It costs $33, and some people might think that is steep for a pencil, but for a drafting pencil, that's actually not bad at all. This is actually the cheaper version, the Rotring 600. There is an 800 version, which is almost twice the price. And uh, so this one's actually comparatively really cheap. And here's what's good about this pencil. It's expensive because it's good quality. This pencil is entirely the body is entirely metal. You cannot snap this thing. Well, I don't want to try real hard because I'm scared. But <laughs> it has a metal body, so it's kind of heavier. It's really, really sturdy. I actually like this heavier feel of a pencil. Some people might prefer lighter pencils, but I actually really like this. It did surprise me, though, because like I know nothing about drafting pencils, but I was expecting the weight to be more along the bottom. But since the whole thing's metal, the the weight's actually centered around the middle of the pencil, which is fine. Like, I don't know what I would have preferred anyway, but just so you know, it's the weight is more evenly distributed, maybe slightly heavier on this side here. Also, I just want to mention that I got the black pencil. It also comes in silver, but I didn't realize at the time that it came in silver, and I'm looking at the pictures of silver online, and it looks super shiny and pretty, and I'm kicking myself for not getting the silver one, but actually the black is growing on me. It's got a matte finish, so it's a lot different, but uh, I kind of just kind of want both, but I'm like, Bales, you only need one. You're Like, you're good. Just stop worrying about the silver pencil. Um, so in terms of colors, black and silver. In terms of sizes, mine is the 0.5 millimeter. You could also get it in 0.35 millimeter and 0.7 millimeter. The 0.35 millimeter pencil is actually $5 more expensive, so it's $38. Uh, if you want it even smaller than that, that's where that Rotring 800 pencil comes into play. It has a 0.2 millimeter lead. That is insane. 0.5 I think is good for me since most pencils I've used are 0.2 seven and so I actually like the 0.5 better so this is the one I got so the grip on the pencil is knurled which means it has these little kind of grooves and bumps on it that make it really grippy so even if your hands all sweaty because you know things can get really intense when you're sketching sometimes your hand gets a little sweaty especially when you have this light on top of your hands like I do right now <laughs> so the grip's actually pretty nice just to hold things in place and it's not rubbery because I don't know, I actually kind of prefer this because rubber can get kind of slippery and clammy. So it's actually like engraved into the metal. It's called knurling and I like it. And the tip is pretty fine. It's kind of, it's long so you can actually see what you're doing without your view being obstructed by the handle or like the wider part of the body, which I really like. And um, also a really cool feature is at the top, you can spin this dial to change what kind of lead is in there. Well, it doesn't change the lead, but it's a labeling system. So I have HB lead in there, so I've labeled it HB. But if you spin it, you can actually change it to B, 2B, 4H, 2H, H, F, and yeah, that's it. So <laughs> that's really awesome. And this doesn't spin that freely. It actually takes a bit of force to spin it, which is good because then it's not just going to change on you and screw you up. But this is the only one I'll probably ever own unless for some reason it broke, which would be kind of crazy because it's so solid. So uh, I'm not just going to stay on the HP setting. Then if you lift off the cap, there is an eraser underneath and it's a nice skinny eraser so you can erase some nice fine details. And it is you can buy replacement erasers. I think it's $2.20 
for three erasers. And if you pull that out, you can actually pull the eraser out of the metal part once it's getting used up so you can use up the full length of the eraser. And when this is pulled out, this is where you replace your lead or insert more lead. And what's cool is this actually came with four pieces of lead already in it. So I'm assuming it's the Rotring brand lead, which does exist. I was kind of doing some research and they'd most likely be putting their own brand of lead in their pencils. That's what makes sense to me. So uh, I did buy some other lead to go in it. Turns out I didn't need it right away since it came with some lead. But like I said, I've mostly used 0.7 millimeter pencils. And so I really needed some 0.5 lead. So this is the brand of lead I got with it. It was just like, when you see this on the website, it's like recommended product, this. And I'm like, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> so yeah, this is just some cool lead. I actually really like the way this opens. You twist it and then there's a little hole for the lead to come out. It's so fancy. Anyway, back to the pencil. I have this habit of not using little erasers on pencils because I feel like I need to save them, but that's such a waste. And especially because this one's so little, it'd be so handy. So I'm probably going to actually just, you know, not be a weirdo and I'm actually going to use the eraser and I'll buy replacements if I need to. One thing I noticed when I looked at the pictures on the Jet Pens website is it had the Rotring logo, this thing here, on the side of the pencil, but mine doesn't. And I did a little bit of research and found out that that's actually because the ones with the logo are an older version of this pencil and this is the newer version. I don't know what the difference is other than just visually the 0.5 is written differently and it's missing the logo. I think other than that it's pretty much the same thing. I'll just do a little close up of the tip of the pencil and how much lead comes out with each click. As you can see it's a pretty small amount with each click which is nice because I don't want my lead snapping on me, so I really like that. Let's just take a look at the box here. So it has the Rotring label, and that's basically what it looks like. And it came with a little instruction manual too, so I'll pull that out. So I opened it up and I was like, oh cool, a manual. Open it up. Oh, it's all in Japanese. I can't read any of it. <laughs> and that's so weird because it says manual in English. And then there's actually no English in it. Such a tease. But yeah, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Pull off the end, insert the lead, and you're good to go. So now that you've seen all the details of how the pencil looks, you're probably wondering what my opinion on it is in terms of sketching. So like I said, I don't do technical drawings. I just do kind of sketches of characters and things, things that are more organic. and. I actually really do like this because a lot of people do sketch with mechanical pencils. I do sometimes, it's, it's weird because sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It's really random and um, they've grown on me more because I'm a very messy sketcher when I use a normal pencil. So normally what I would do is I would use a blue or a red pencil and do a rough sketch and then clean up the lines with a mechanical pencil like this. But even with my 0.7 millimeter leads it's really annoying. So just first of all, the thinner lead, much nicer, but also just the weight of the pencil makes it so much nicer. I don't know what it is. It just makes me so happy when I'm drawing. It's like a whole new experience. The weight just makes it not easier to sketch, but it just it feels nicer. And I feel like my hand actually relaxes more too. I don't know if that's just because I don't even need to press down as hard because of the weight of the pencil. It's not like it's that heavy. It's it's really hard to explain. You really have to feel it for yourself, but it's just it's just different compared to a pencil that has a plastic body. So basically, you're going to be seeing me use this all the time in my YouTube videos now. I've had this for about a month and a half, and I really, really like it. And so if you ever see me using a mechanical pencil, it's probably going to be this one. The only exception is in this video, I'm going to be sketching a little character right away, and you'll see me using some mechanical pencils that I got a while ago. So basically, now that I've had a taste of this pencil, I do not want to go back to my old ones. <laughs> What's nice though is, since this is more durable, I don't have to worry about my pencils breaking because I've broken a few mechanical pencils in my day. They, I get so attached to a pencil and then the tip starts breaking off and I'm very sad. So I'm in love with this one now. I've had it for a month and a half. I don't think I can go back to my old plastic ones. So. This one better last me a long time, and it should. It's a popular brand, apparently, and so I have faith in you. 
So now I'm going to do a little sketch with this pencil and I'm actually not going to use it for the rough sketch because like I said I don't typically use mechanical pencils for my rough sketch. Also I usually don't use graphite for my rough sketches. I sometimes do but I typically like to use a blue or a red pencil to do my initial sketch so that's what I'm going to do. And I was digging around for my blue and red pencils because I just actually moved to a new apartment and not everything is fully unpacked and organized and I could not find my Prismacolor Cauli Race pencils, which is what I usually use. But I was digging around and I found these green pencils that I'm pretty sure I bought at Jet Pens like three years ago or something. And they're these Pentel 0.5 millimeter pencils. They say P205, I don't know if that's the model number or what, but these are just little plastic pencils. And actually the red and blue indicators at the top are actually not part of the pencil. I taped those on there to tell me which one had the red lead and which one had the blue lead, just to make things easier for me. So yeah, like I said, these are plastic pencils, and as soon as I picked them up, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I was just so used to this metal one now that the plastic ones feel light and cheap and not so good, but I mean, they still work fine. I was just wasn't used to it and it makes me want extra road trip pencils for my red and blue lead but I have to talk myself out of it because I mean gotta make use of these green pencils so uh, I used that red mechanical pencil to sketch this and the sketch didn't actually turn out that messy because it was such a simple drawing it doesn't have any kind of intense anatomy or anything it's just a simplified cartoon so I almost didn't even need to do the two steps by doing red and then graphite but that's my usual process, so that's what I kind of wanted to show. So did the rough, rough sketch in the red, and then I went over it with my rotoring pencil. As you can see, this is just kind of a demo. I know it's not really going to tell you, it's not going to explain how the pencil feels. It's just, it's hard to explain how it feels. It's just very nice. <laughs> so yeah, I guess you can just see me sketching it now, and then I'm going to ink and color it. I guess I'll just talk I'll say a few more words about my process but it's not going to be specific to the pencil so once I have it sketched and then I've done my clean sketch I take a light box and trace it onto marker paper if I was just gonna leave it as a sketch it could just stay as it was but I want to color it with Copic markers so I'm going to trace it onto some marker paper and the reason I don't sketch on marker paper is because I can't always fully erase my pencil lines. So I like to do on a scrap piece of paper or in a sketchbook and then I trace it onto my marker paper using a light box. I do not know what brand my light box is. It's totally unmarked and I threw out the box a long time ago. So I'm sorry, I don't know what light box it is. But uh, just tracing that onto the new paper and then, but, but when I'm tracing it, I'm using the rotoring pencil again and I'm just doing light lines and very thin lines just tracing over the sketch. I'm not worrying about line weight or anything it's just getting the proper lines down and then once I have those lines down I turn off the light box and I pull out my multi liners and I ink it and that's when I worry about all the line weight and stuff so nothing to say about the inking just normal inking it with my Copic multi liner and then I color it with my Copic markers so not much left to say about that. So yeah, I guess I'll just say a few closing words about the pencil. Uh, it was $33, got it on Jet Pens. I'll leave a direct link to it in the video description for you guys. And overall, I really like it. I'd say the only downside is the price. At first glance, $33 seems like a hella lot of money for a mechanical pencil. But now that I've held it in my hands, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely worth the money. And like I said, there's more expensive ones out there. For a drafting pencil, that's amazing. I just, I really like it. So yeah, you're going to see me use it a lot in my future videos because I'm really digging it. So I guess that's all I have to say about it. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want me to review more products, just let me know. Go to my workstation video or something and look at things I own and be like, hey, can you do a review on that? And I will maybe do it. So let me know what reviews you guys want to see. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.